45 minutes left in the trading session. Welcome back to the close. Here's a look at uh, how things stand so far. It's been a relatively quiet session overall for uh, North American markets. Here you can see the S&P actually dead flat at the moment. The Dow down slightly, the Nasdaq up slightly. Here in Toronto, we are down slightly as well, 0.3%. Uh, nice bounce back there for Bitcoin today, up 6% so far, guys. A few things to get to this afternoon before we get to the close. Oh, it hasn't been that quiet. Oh, my Lord, 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 Lord's town. Here we go again. Uh, look, ride. Uh, I was saying this, we're going to come in here, uh, guys, so welcome back. It was a crazy morning. I think it's going to be a crazier afternoon. Uh, it looks like uh, there's going to be some crazy action continuing here uh, on Lordstown. Uh, you can tell you, was in one trade for two hours to the short side, and then they popped the news saying, look, and they're going to say uh, that they have enough money to uh, do limited production. Of course, uh, capital concerns were part of the reason why they had that gap down. There were a lot of trades. I shorted off that 1150 level initially, got blown out, reversed into the long on the pullback, then got the sh short near the top at 1260, now back to 11 into a long position. It's heading back up towards 12. So it's going crazy around here in Lordstown. And we'll pop this new one off. And thank you, Robbie. If you guys don't like that music, you're probably going to hear it a little bit today. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's appropriate for cannabis net stocks, but I also appropriate because it's a new one. And uh, by the way, there's that one for you. Told you uh, about this ride, but you know, still, I mean, you enjoy the ride all the way down. I mean, we weren't right until just now, so uh, all the way down. But the thing about it is, we don't have to be right until now because we're not in it until now. This is the only trade that we were looking for all day long, and here it is, man. It ripped up. We went long there, we went long again. You like it twice, it is so, so nice. So we'll punch that one out um, to the moon. That's it, good. And there we go. Uh, so let's go upside now, Lordstown. I mean, this, this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, it's, it was this move uh, on, you know, possibly oversold. There is a short percentage that's going to be squeezed on this. And guess what? It's going to go even higher than this. So right now, we're long at 7.11 there. 11.11 across the board. Uh, so right now, a nice little 65-cent win. No intentions of getting out. I, I would have got out here if I really thought uh, this, the move was over. So we'll wait to see where it goes now. You know, I, I'm debating right now 12 if we can. I mean, here we go. Let's go, man. As we go, we stay long on this name. We'll maybe put an offer near $12 uh, and try to get some of this out. But what a great trade this has been here on Lordstown. So ride with me and ride with us at Trader TV Live, and you'll be okay. So there's a nice little win there, 70 cents. I'm going to put an offer in the 90s, see what happens. There you go, and we'll flush this one down to a G vote. But by the way, stick around because uh, a GEO uh, is going to be trade of the day here today. It was a new squeeze name. Uh, it just broke back down below VWAP here. I was actually just throwing that in the chat. I'm like, wow, well, right away. Try to get this 950. Didn't catch it. It consolidated for just like a brief second at 25. Thank you, quarters. I uh, just got a little scalp out in front of nine. Remember, Sean and I will be flat. These are day trades. We'll be flat at four o'clock or by four o'clock, hopefully a little bit sooner than that. Uh, so we got to get in and out of these as fast as we can. So playing that momentum, you always want to take some profit. There was all kinds of buying down around like 830 up to about 865 that would stall every single move that I had uh, below VWAP. So it's not the first time. If you guys were watching the show right at the end, uh, right at the end, I was shorting off of VWAP like several times. I got out once for profit, and then we took our hit uh, that hit uh, through 950. We're right back at it here in GVO. The other one is another from the morning. I'm going to go back to Wendy's here. I am sitting in this one off of 25. I kind of wish I had been a little more patient waiting for this dip, but I waited for it all afternoon to actually touch off 25 or close enough to it. And it bounced once. I then took the trade long side. I got 21s. I've gotten a little bit out for like a 25 cent win. Uh, going to get the next third out, hopefully in front of 25.75 or so. And then if this can march back up here into view up, that'd be fantastic. Brendo. Some NFT action for everyone this afternoon. Takung Art, TKAT, up big time today. Uh, almost 30% uh, at this point. It was a lot higher. We did break 24. Volume came in around, uh, looks like about quarter to two Eastern this afternoon. Uh, but it's been, it hasn't really been that violent. More of a controlled kind of stair-stepping move, guys. Uh, back through this 23, 24 area. Remember, this thing was up in the 60s and 70s uh, going back a month or so ago. But uh, TKAT on the move. And we'll fire off another animation. There you go, firing off chickens instead of sausages right there. Um, okay, so we just got out there, 79 on that move to uh, for ride. It was bouncing off 80 there a bunch of times. So, Valeria, we still have 40 minutes left, so uh, get ready. Um, yeah, so it just breaks there, 1180. We got out, and now it's coming back downside a little bit. So I'm still holding uh, the rest, but we're out, you know, in twice, out three times. Have about... 
40% left or so of the, this total position. So hopefully we can get back to the upside here with RIDE, uh, and we'll watch that one. Hopefully uh, give us a little bit of a winner, cancel some more orders there. And then I want to go over to AMC, and this is the crazy part, because we weren't sitting here, but, you know, down to 48.50, I mean, oh, no, we were here at this point or whatever. I don't know if I was, but... Anyway, it doesn't matter. 48.50, look at these bottoms here. This is all we want to talk about. Forget about that we missed the trade. You can see I'm not in it, but right here, guys, like that 48.50, how good has that bottom uh, been on AMC? So you see that again. I think we got to attack 48.50. Um, I just don't know about dropping this off. If we break through 50, I think it's worth a shot to see if we retrace back here, but I don't know. Is, is it going to go or not? If we have... 40, if we have a 50 drop, we have 50 30 to get out there on VWAP if we're wrong. Brendo! Uh, AEMD, big mover, Athlon Medical from this morning, guys. Still up more than, wow, 300% still uh, on the day. But uh, volume alert just went off here. Uh, to the downside, through 11 was support for most of the afternoon, but uh, looks like some selling, guys, for AEMD. Very, very similar move to what Geo just did with that crack of VWAP on the big down candle, but it's immediately bouncing back over this 1050. So if I can catch a consolidation, maybe get a little something in that 11, in that 1050 range, I should say, I might take it to the south side. Here. Yeah, actually just got a fill uh, right here at, a, at 1045. So this is pretty much rinse and repeat what we saw in GVO. Now this stock has had a monster range. Uh, intraday, literally, like, that's not pre-market, intraday 7 up till 12.50, so you do have to trade this one with wider uh, target ranges here. I probably won't even want to cover until it gets at least 50 pennies in the money, and then you start looking at this 9.50 cluster as well, so I still have, I actually just reloaded the GEVO short uh, as well as that gets back towards that 9.50, uh, so I got both those to the short side. Wendy's is pretty clean. If it breaks 25, I'm out. These other ones that had momentum, I do want to be able to try and rinse and repeat this action. If I can get some out in front of 10 i'll try and get some back in probably 60s or 70s and then see how many times we can play this but i kind of want these to make that move down first and then react to it i know some of you guys are looking at clover my worst stock of the day and i was actually saying this when we we're uh, before we came on i was chatting back and forth with a couple of guys in the chat and i was saying i was way too much on one side of this stock I haven't really looked at it too much in the afternoon. I like the Wendy's bottom a little bit better, but I was usually going into this week willing to play both directions. Um, today, it was like I only went long in the stock, and we had a horrible entry here. We got a little more disciplined by catching these bottoms okay. and scalping it out, but the, after all, uh, it's still at that low. 1750 could still break, guys. Clover can't do anything good. Okay, guys, another trade here. Uh, trade alert right now. AMC, uh, take the long right now on that break of 50.80. We took that. Would have uh, loved to tell you about that one. We only look to short through 50, but it's the same break, right? It's the break here. Uh, mark on my screen. It doesn't matter to you. Uh, break here of 50.80. We take that long. And here we go, guys. Uh, out, out. Now let's see where we go. I think we can test up here. 51.63 for AMC. So that's going to be my next little target area there. We do go long AMC. We've got that one now. 45 or so cents in the money. I wonder if we're going to get exhausted a little bit here. We'll put a, uh, an offer in the 30s. There we go. Bang! Let's go. We had to spin this one in the morning. Money, we struggled money, on money, AMC money, early, money, but we money, ain't going to struggle money, late. Money. You can't keep this boy down. What up? Uh, another mover from today, guys. We uh, talked about this briefly. I, I think we talked about this briefly this morning. If you joined us uh, on the morning show, uh, INO. I'm going to expand this a little bit so you can see it uh, a little bit better. Uh, they expanded their partnership for uh, Advacine uh, to conduct a phase three trial for their uh, COVID-19 vaccine attempt. $10 got taken out there just a few minutes ago, guys, on volume. Still going up about 20% for INO. Still going in, still going down is that AEMD. So we broke that VWAP. We take it right here at 1050, like we just mentioned to you guys. Already out in front of 10. We'll take that other leg out for a quick little dollar winner if we can catch it. Uh, this stock is handing out 10% moves. Somehow, look, it doesn't... It somehow it doesn't halt, but that's fair enough. We'll see what happens if it actually were to crack. This was a 10% move here, so I'm actually not sure uh, why we're not halting a few times on this name. Uh, it is what it is. We'll take advantage of it as long as it's going to be there. GEO, similar story, we're off of VWAP. Reload here again. It slides back into the money. I will scalp another 20, 30 cents out of this one. Rinse and repeat. We got the pullback trades coming oh. in in both of these names. The long and ride, however, I'm hanging on to it. It either breaks 11 or we're going to be uh, holding on to that long trade. So if it breaks 11, fair enough. As long as it's in front of that, I want it. All right, here we go. Here goes AMC, guys. Beautiful move. 50, 80 long in a dollar and change. Now to the upside. Let's run AMC high side there. What up, ape gang? We don't have anything apes. We just have this thing, which is a little cute chimpanzee, I guess, or whatever that is. Riding, but those diamonds, man. Wow. Huge diamonds there for that guy. So uh, let's keep on going to the upside now with AMC. We just took some out there. Now we have 20% left. Out, 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 all the way up. This is what dreams are made of here. Let's see if AMC can continue to go. Good point. 
Good point on the chat about if there's a good earnings release for GameStop, what does that mean for AMC? And I think it means this for AMC, so we'll wait to see where we go from here, but we'll fly. I'm... What is, what's our body in that situation? Okay, um, right to the upside. We'll see if it keeps on going now. This is a dollar plus now in the money on AMC. Look, I have two positions for you. Ride, you know, we've already talked about that. Big time trade there. And then AMC, which is now 20% left, dollar in the money, which was a hell of a lot more than 20% left. But here we go to the upside now. Rip, rip, rip. We're looking at days high here, maybe 52.80. Okay, uh, just saw some decent size. There it is. Okay, so some decent size here at 52, guys. Let's watch to see what happens. Let's see if it just eats this thing up. No, so a little rejection off 52 right now. We cannot ignore Mr. Wickens. All right, uh, crypto stocks having uh, a bit of a day here. I just saw this one, guys. Micro strategy up uh, almost 9%. Uh, Bitcoin up about 10% at one point today. We just broke 500 bucks there on volume for uh, this one, MSTR. Uh, so some of these making moves. It's worth noting, I mean, it's 500 bucks, but uh, the short interest on this is about 16% for micro strategy, guys. 16, I mean, it kind of feels like that's a light number when you're seeing that. The GEO is like 30% today. And look, ultimately, some of that doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be a pure momentum play. And if enough people decide to pile into it, liquidity is not there. You know it's going to be a mover. AMD is going to be that same thing. It's holding right at 10 bucks. So we're only about halfway towards our target, ultimately. Uh, Wendy's looks okay. It's right that I think with that move up, uh, that you just saw in AMC, and then if you catch some bottoms here in a couple of these other names, we just put in another higher low here in Ride. If it does resist this 1190 one more time, our 12 even area, I will cover this trade and get out of it, then hunt for a bit of a lower level to be able to buy a bit of a dip on. It does feel like there's a little bit of a secondary squeeze that could be happening on Ride, clearly with some positive news. I don't know that it changes the overall you know, perspective on the stock, but momentum is momentum, and we got to ride it as long as it's going to be here for us. Uh, that clover for you guys that are still watching it, uh, that did just break low of the day. I got two shorts and two longs on, um, but I uh, just want to make sure you guys know a clover continues to be weak. Uh, I just feel like it's a better bottom pick on Wendy's, which actually has uh, maybe a little bit of a better story going with it here and why it might hold up at 24. So, sorry, 25. It does still stay in the money for me, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big mover. If we aren't moving uh, more than 30, 40 cents in the money by about 3.40, 3.45, .40, I will just cover Wendy's and hang on to the better winners. Okay, so, yeah, I, I mean, Wendy's is a good one, but, yeah, some of these stocks did flush. So there we go. So out of 80%, you know about that. We were holding that last 20%. We saw some size at 52, and we should have got out. We threw to Brendan at that time. We saw some size there. I was going to, hopefully it was going to break, but now it's right back down that dollar again. So mm -hmm. it does resist that 52 level. So I'm going to put an offer somewhere in, like, the 80s if we can get it. Then we'll take a 52 break if it does break. But right now, man, we should have got out, and we should have just, like, reassessed with some of those stop orders. So unfortunately, we don't do that, and now we're gonna miss out on 80 cents. Ah, man, uh, that's okay. Uh, it was, that, as I said, a small percentage of the float there for me uh, of, of what I had left, but it looks like it does wanna head to the back to the downside. So here goes AMC, guys, just watch out. We should've took that out at 52. We gotta be more disciplined than that uh, and get that out when we have a $1.20 winner uh, right off the bat there. Like, that was super fast uh, to grab that win. So let's wait to see, but now I'm gonna put it at like 51.50 now, see if we get a halfway retracement backside, but I still am looking at this 50 break that would be sucky uh, if that could happen but I do want to have some shares on board just in case that does go so uh, right now AMC uh, damn should have should have covered that at 50 and a half or 52 there uh, we'll just wait to see where it goes right now trying to have those diamonds guys I see you Daryl I'm going to talk about CCL in a quick second but I just wanted someone that asked in the chat or was throwing it in there uh, whoa CCL you're right that is a big time move down to, to the downside on CCL I wonder if it has any bounce at that 30 even it was a good one at level on the way up could be on the way down someone was asking about where do you find short interest so you know brennan's got that uh, got that uh, uh that uh <laughs> the icon terminal there similar to like a bloomberg there's all kinds of ways to calculate it and websites will have different numbers so just understand that not not all of them are the same some update weekly some update monthly some update daily so those are all estimates it doesn't mean it's in, in a line in the sand and everyone knows that's exactly the number uh it's kind of hard to know uh for anybody the precise number of intraday basis but ccl that's a big dump that we just know. So thank you, Daryl, for pointing that one out. And I sort of threw out that 30 there uh, blindly, if only because I knew that on the way up it was a, a big retracement level. And you can see it's been support since it had that final breakout. So it was reverse, reverse off here uh, multiple times and then finally broke out through that 30. So I think maybe you catch a little bounce at the close if it goes any further down uh, to that 30 level. So good for pointing it out. Used to be a name we traded more heavily. I've literally traded it twice in the last couple of weeks. Got nice little flush out bottom here uh, that was long. That short doesn't look like it was that great. But 30 would be a decent place if you can catch it before 350 for the long bounce. 
So I did put that offer there on uh, AMC, and we're just going to wait to see where that goes from here. Uh, it, you know, I'm up in the 40s now, so 51.40, uh, we do have our offer in that area. So we'll wait to see if it gets picked up, and then hopefully we'll be able to flush that uh, out of our blotter, out of our out of our position board, uh, and then and then like I should have got out there. That would have looked really great too uh, if we had got out there, but we didn't. So we talked about why. Let's just hold it. Uh, ride again. I'm the only two positions I have, so I don't know. I don't probably won't be talking too much about uh, a lot of these other trades here uh, the one trade I did want to talk about was Tilray like you guys want to talk about oh yeah we not this so now it. now it's hit appropriate it. guys y'all hit it I got it uh, now we'll now we'll hit this guys now it's appropriate uh, Tilray look we talked about it whenever Tilray makes these moves it had one at 1130 uh, right well we went off the air at 11 but it made that big move back there flush big move back flush so you know people take profits on these names guys we talked about that over and over again so i hope that you understand uh that every time tilray does have a big big pop nothing wrong with getting out of a little bit uh of of your position so let's fire off another chicken here and hope that it works for amc because right now actually this guy might work it's coming right back to life a little bit so remember where we are we're in the 5140 area right now uh for amc so if it can get back up there we'll get out i may just get out i mean now let's just be patient and stick with our guns here uh, i was gonna say i may just get out now because that's not a bad retracement back to the upside look at the nasdaq though guys about to turn redsville i'm gonna hit this one anyways and i'm gonna loosely say that it's gonna work for geo like they're it's a, the replay and they're involved in the prison system so i don't know why not uh, we'll go with that but look we talked about it with breaking vwap i'm gonna miss this break and i even said it like right before we came on air it was, it, it, it's literally right at 315 it's making this move here uh through that through that vwap in 950 i did miss it but it gives you a chance on this bounce back let it come back in shorted 25s for a quick scalp there then shorted back in here at like 38s we're able to get it out and look at this cluster remember I told you there was buying down at 860 when I was short earlier in the day. If you got a position and you're watching the stock, you know that price movement. When you come back, don't get greedy. It bounces off the 60s here. I remove liquidity, just cross up and get out because I saw it bounce off that support. That's one way that you can take profit. It doesn't have to be off some level. Uh, but you can watch where price action took this stock uh, in the morning, be able to get that profit. If it comes back in 950, I want to short it off you one more time. Brenda, what's up, bud? Uh, just checking on the original bark company sean damn it uh <laughs> no it's good it's up it's yeah nice uh, nice move uh, volume actually came in here uh two o'clock with a nice pop up to 1260 it is coming back in though actually just got alerted on the sell side there through 12 bucks but yeah since this has uh converted over to bark uh yeah we've had uh, quite the move back to the upside here i don't see any headlines on this but this popped up was doing nothing all day and then popped up about two o'clock guys Okay, okay, I thought you were, like, trolling me there. Hey, what's up, troll? Hey, what's up to the Blue Jays there? Uh, original 1992 troll here with the games on the back, everything. This, this, is, a, this is a big one there. So uh, watch out. Hold your trolls close there. Treasure trolls, I was told they're told. They're called. Um, okay, uh, this failed. So AMC failed again uh, on that break upside. We only got as high as 25. Now I'm going to sit in the teens uh, to get out. Uh, if we rip back upside, man, we'll take that out. <clears throat> and we'll see what happens uh, with AMC now. I don't know. Like We tried to let it go, guys. It didn't run a run. We still have a half hour till we got to be flat. I do like the logic about, you know, depending on what a, what uh, GameStop will do, AMC should kind of catch some of that drift. But remember, if it's the other way for GameStop, then it's the, you know, the logic is that it'll be the other way then again for AMC, right? So uh, there is some risk here. There's never not risk when you're putting your money into the market. And Neil and I trade, equ and Brandon, we all trade equities, guys, not options. So that's why we talk about having to be flat near the end of the day. I'm still trying to book some reservations um, here for uh, the family and I, because finally, or, and I, I'm part of the family, my family, uh, to go out for eat food Saturday. So hopefully we could do that because <laughs> we haven't been to a patio in a very, very long time. No one's been to it. Well, I mean, other people have. Obviously, you're in Canada. We haven't been to a patio in forever. And uh, I want to shout out a couple people here. Uh, first off, a uh, good look there at uh, Katiana. Joe Carter, legendary home run. But the best 29 in the Jays was Jesse Barfield. And uh, for, for you guys out there that are, you know, uh, obviously we can't get to every single stock, but I know one of you was asking about MDRR. I didn't catch the name. I know a lot ha happens here. We do want to try to cover it. I know they got, I know they had a, they got a contract. I think it was it's a, a real estate days thing. Ago. It, it is, has, it's a REIT, yeah. uh, but it doesn't look entirely active uh, just yet. I mean, outside, outside of the fact that you've already made a bit of a breakout here. If you're, if, if you're looking and you're already in long in this play, I kind of go to this spike here, like a, a, like a 175 or so. And if you're closing above, 
uh, that price, which it's trying to do. You can kind of see where it's bounced. Let me just show you that spike, previous resistance, uh, what's been the support. Uh, this 175 and 177 area. Right, so there. if it closes above that, that's a pretty good look for the stock. Maybe you get a shot to bounce up uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, but it, it, the fact that it's threatening it right here, right now, is not necessarily the most bullish sign in the world. Okay, so there it goes. Uh, me eat AMC shares right now. So we're out of that. Uh, and we now are gone with AMC. Nice log, right to the upside. Good out too, right, guys? Like there, there it was. I don't know why. Oh, that went purple because I still had my offer way upside. Uh, but so that's a short sell. So you can see we are now flat. Uh, and again, it just colors that wrong. That's all uh, because I did have an offer out. So it thinks that my next offer would be to get go short, which is not true. So uh, there we go. We are now out. Good out as it fades back down. We'll wait to see where it goes now. But that's AMC. Still looking to see. Whoops, don't want to draw lines on this. Uh, still looking to wait. To, yeah, I didn't mean to have that line. Well, maybe we'll erase that. Still waiting to see what happens at 50, though. We still have that order in just in case it does go to the downside. That is 50 even uh, is the only other breaking spot we have. And then ride. I'm still in that. I'm still looking for that one to pop through. Uh, hopefully, we can get a little runner there for ride. Uh, but it looks like it's bouncing around. Did have a hard time there at 50. So a part of me says we should put an offer at 50, but uh, we don't have too many shares. So let's just wait to see what happens here with Lordstown. Could fade out the rest of the day. Our out's going to be very, very simple, guys. 1080. So 1080 out, fine. We put all our money in our pocket and we'll walk away from it. But right now, that's going to be the out. If it rips, it rips. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We're going to wait for that. 1080p. Uh, this CCL, I don't think this wick happened. If you guys have been watching, uh, I didn't have this chart up or the level two when this made the move to the downside through 3.30.50. 30 30.30 looks like that low. I just really don't know whether that's a legitimate print or a dark pool. So it looks like it's trying to hold above that 30 level. If it does a quick little dip, it's about 10 minutes before I would actually buy that bottom. But I got these three positions on, plus a buyout that doesn't really matter too much. It's not going to move. Um, and I think ride, like, like you said, Sean, uh, is probably going to be one where I'm not going to be loading back into it. Now, if it had made that push down like 20, like, you know, 10, 15 minutes ago, and it would have pressed off of this like VWAP here, that would have been worth a re-entry. Uh, but the fact that it couldn't break this 12, we're getting consolidation lower. I'm not going to jump back into this in the long side. Like maybe a wipeout long at 10, that would be in the cards potentially for me. And then this AEMD, I definitely, I'd say always not to do this, but I looked at that gift horse in the mouth. You're not supposed to do it, but you, that's ugly. It's ugly when you do that, by the way. This AEMD, I could have had this one out uh, for an 80 cent win right here in front of this lower high. I didn't do it. I hunted for about a dollar worth of a trade. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. And now it's pretty binary for me. If it breaks VWAP almost at 340, I want to trim this one off. If it breaks VWAP, I'll just get out uh, at about like 1065, 1070 or so. Limit the damage on the second half of the trade so we can still be up on this move. If it flushes, fair enough. I'll wait for it to break 960. I'm not sure this is one that I want to hold past that 950 mark, though, because the spread on this, it's done 230 million shares and we'll still have a five or 10 cent spread at times. Rendo? Uh, clean or clean energy, I should say. Uh, CLNE starting to uh, or trying to go here a little bit as well. 13, a uh, bit of a pivot throughout the day here but volume coming back in uh, on the buy side this uh, CLNE guy is still up 30% from this morning yeah and uh, I wish I was a baller but maybe we are a little bit today because look at this trade short 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 and got by the way guys remember when I called 10 bucks I mean it got pretty damn close uh, right here where we were first I mean these are shorts short these are only two trades we have short here pre market like we like it so much it's a pre-market trade uh so there it is short there this wasn't very many shares but then you know we realized after we talked ourselves into it that we would go here and there we go and then tick 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 boom right there out 1150 obviously it's down to 1090 right now and and, and looking like I don't know what it's looking like right now but that was a good call on wish so good good on that I hope you guys had that we'll wait to see what happens Cliff Natural Resources, wow. You want to talk about a, a stock that's moving today uh, and, and a big name, 79 million shares. Wow. Uh, Cliff's here. Uh, this is, no, uh, Freeport is the copper play. Cliff's is here as well. So you're into mining. You're into all that jazz. Big time move upside. I mean, if you look at a daily chart as well of CLF, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Uh, just nothing but love since September. This was a $6 name, guys, up to 24. And there's the break. Like, this is the, the kind of stuff that you're looking for. These breaks there it is big mover clf up 15.5 percent at, at you know even even higher it's near its day's high right now so we'll see if it can get to 20 percent but big mover there clf today wow That's probably has to do with mining prices what's up bud yeah i actually uh, i saw that clf uh, when we first came back on here th this afternoon but uh, didn't really see anything terribly exciting uh the only thing worth noting here for cleveland cliffs is they opened a new uh plant 
a new manufacturing plant in uh, Toledo, Ohio. So that was really the only thing of note, though. But uh, big okay, time well. relative volume on CLF today. There you go. I mean, the good news for uh, the state of Ohio. Well, I mean, I, I looked over immediately uh, at FCX there because I was just kind of curious uh, to see what they were doing. Absolutely nothing. AMD still barcoding for now. Well, more like consolidating. It's not really barcoding yet in relative to what it's been doing all morning long or all day long, I should say. And it's been a crazy one. Now, I want to make sure uh, you guys do stick around. I did get out of that geo, uh, but it is going to be like it's going to be that trade of the day. And we talk about trading stocks. We talk about trading setups. This is about trading a bit of a setup here. It looks like it's going to threaten this 860 level and if it breaks this uh, it's probably looking to get back down to eight so if you're holding on to longs in the stock i mean at some point with these squeeze plays if you're not taking profits you always see us talk about taking profits and then doing that i feel like if you're not finding a way to take some profits on the way up or at least uh, putting some trails in uh, you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice because you saw what happened in clover today right like you know you're sitting there and we talked about that 12 12 dollar level a couple of sessions ago um you know that was all well and good um, but if you never took any profit on the way up, you're now sitting back towards this 16 consolidation as the next level down. Maybe that's okay. You're still, still winning trade for you a quarter off that 12, but you don't want to give up too much profit. Forget about the perfect out and worry about making money. That's what this business is all about. Traders don't care about looking good and feeling good. They care about making money. That's what it's all about here. And uh, AMC, sort of a similar story, although I will say this, Sean, holding up rather nicely. Uh, GME is the other one that has earnings today. There we go. I don't know why I can't move this over. You see that glitch, on where you can't move the chart? Uh, GameStop has a 305 bottom that it's trying to hold here. Uh, it would be a solid sign, I think, going into earnings if it did. But this stock, 280 is the big level downside. If, is any, if this is negative and this starts to come back in, I like a 280 short if it can't hold it. I'm probably going to be looking at that tomorrow morning. I've been avoiding GameStop, but earnings have come through. I think it's back on the radar because of that as a heavy day trade. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I didn't, uh, yeah, clear, uh, yeah, Biden infrastructure bill, yeah, that makes sense, Scott Hall. Uh, we don't know if that's your real name, but we talk about DX all the time, so what's up to G-Generation X there? Razor Ramon, still one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. To go, I mean, I love Triple H, so, uh, and I love Ric Flair, I mean, I love all these degenerates uh, there on, 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 uh, on uh, the WWE. Norman fact, Smiley. Oh, you know what, let's go to WWE, actually, what the hell? Uh, today, WWE was up huge uh, in the morning, let's see what it's up now. Still up that 10 and a bit percent, let's see what why? And again, it's the same. Uh, it's the same chart every single time. You're at a stock that's breaking out. I don't know if there was earnings. We talked about this earlier today. I still think. And get this, guys. Like, I mean, I thought about it down here. You know, when we when NFTs first started. But if if you think NFTs are a real thing and here to stay, then I mean, WWE has so many fans and so much fandom and so much everything. Um, classic moments like Mick Foley getting thrown off the cage by Undertaker you know things like He's that like there's so many moments that people will pay ridiculous amounts of money for in my opinion so I think that the NFT craze could be here with WWE but look at that man up to 70 I just wonder if this was mentioned on a board again up to 70 all the way back down so we can wait to see what happens here with WWE but we do have a 65 50 area right there uh, to look at of concern uh, for WWE but a good little day today up 11 P on that one yeah look i mean there's a lot of ones I, a lot of good moments that immediately came to mind uh, i want to talk about this briefly about the ipo today marketa um look they're going to be their fintech business like 70 percent plus i think square uh, is their, one of their largest clients not the best reception but we always try to look at where support comes in on some of these ba uh, bad first days uh, issue pr issue price i think was like i think it might have been 27 it could be wrong about that but it did open up at 32.50 and then flushed 20, I mean, 29 here is nice. 28.60 is the actual bottom, but 29 has been support. It's trying to hold a break at 30 here. Uh, so I'm going to watch both those two levels, 29 and 30, going into tomorrow's action. A close above could be a nice one. And then you may, might retest these highs. We've seen dumps on day one uh, and then holds at some of these levels that finds a bottom and either taking out that previous, that afternoon support while holding the bottom. Or maybe you even get like a top break, which would be like a 32.75. So Marquetta, it wasn't that great to trade. I didn't touch it, as you can see, because uh, it didn't really have any kind of a bounce or any good levels. Uh, but we will be looking at that one. IPOs have not been the best. Wendy's is a big disappointment. What did I say I was going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now. 
while I'm still profitable on this last trade in Wendy's, it had not been a good one all day long. Uh, trying to get some of those longs. We stay disciplined with it though. Get a bit of a scalp win here, but I said if it was about 340, 345 and it wasn't moving, I would get out of it. Lordstown was great. GEO was great. Uh, AMD was great. But Wendy's continues to be a bit of a disappointment off that 25 level. For Remember, now. we still have, yeah, we still have uh, AMC to go here. It's been doing absolutely nothing, but I mean, I know a lot of you want to see what's going on with this name, so we'll continue uh, to sit here and watch it with you. I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm looking at that 50 as a possible spot to get some out on, or sorry, to get short on. But other than that, like we played that break and we hit that. We basically have the only move there since two or three o'clock. I mean, we basically bar, I mean, these were the best moves, man. This was two o'clock. But, uh, you know, basically we've been doing nothing for a little bit. So we'll have to wait on that right now to see where we go from here uh, on AMC. I still like that 50 break. So that's the play. Rocket mortgages and rocket companies not really doing anything either. Uh, we did have a try to take out the day's high of 2280. That doesn't happen. And then it gets faded down uh, as well and then blackberry the one that i said for everybody to basically be shorting uh today gives you that gives you that move off 16 again so we'll watch out blackberry could take out this bottom 1480 but for right now man we only have 15 minutes left and we're five minutes away from the imbalances which we'll show you exactly and the, uh, ivan uh, zhang <laughs> good good video idea there and we're gonna put that one to heart there what are uh, things to consider before going full-time trading i like that we're gonna note that uh we love the feedback that we get from you guys i mean that's how we try to keep this look it's really it's about you guys you guys are the viewers you guys are our community so it's all about you guys and we're going to try to get that uh out to you as promptly as we can we do get a lot of requests that mdrr i mean i, j I had mentioned that 175 177 area needs to hold it looks like for now for the time being on i'll say garbage volume because this is what it's doing on a level two I mean, just literally nothing happening here, but it is holding for it. So if you're interested in that name, it has been able to hold up just a little bit here above 175. Brendan? Uh, I was just looking at Virtu, uh, V-I-R-T down big time here. Uh, this happened midday. Uh, it was about 1230. It was the SEC chair came out talking about uh, possible further regulations and uh, red tape, essentially, for HFTs. So... Uh, Virtu Financial heavily into that game. So kind of consolidating here, though, guys. Uh, we've had some volume spikes back above 2940, 29 and a half. Uh, but uh, VIRT, not looking too good at this point. No, I, I was watching that. It, it was yeah. about to pay for order flow. So it was just the fact that um, they're talking about that being illegal, maybe. And that's what gives you those great, pro those great prices, uh, including free on many apps and things like that. So they're just talking about how uh, basically maybe getting rid of pay for order flow is the right thing. And if they do that, then, of course, various, I mean, we don't have them here in Canada, but uh, various apps like Webull, I guess, and Robinhood would, would, would get smoked. And they're big, not smoked, but they may have to charge a dollar a fill or something. Uh, like that because right now any time that you execute a trade on a Robinhood app or something like that it's it, it's sending not to the market right it's giving it to one of those uh, high frequency trading firms like a Virtu like a Citadel and they're paying for your order flow so they're getting it and then giving you back the shares so if they get rid of that then yeah that would be a big big problem for uh, those companies. So that's what that's all about. Virtu, big move to the downside. And the thing is, it's like, man, if, if people understand how it works, it's fine. Like, as long as you're transparent about it, I mean, it is what it is. We'll see how it does, does shake out. I see someone asking about Workhorse. Is it dead? Um, Workhorse was one of the few breakouts this morning that at least gave you something off of a high break. And then it made a hard bottom off of 15, which, uh, of course, exactly. at this particular time, was chasing other stocks. My goodness, we, we do the prep in the morning for a reason. And uh, I said I'm not going to overtrade and trade too many names. And as I'm sitting there trying to catch bottoms on everything else, the dip buy that I was like in workhorse, I'm like, it probably has to get to 15 before I, I catch it. No, it didn't even get a little bit of it. It goes all the way back up. Now we're holding this break price. This is a good one, guys, because when it broke 1650, it pulled back into 1650. If you look on the way down, those resistance here, it's double tapped this, hold above there. And of all of these names, Workhorse actually has held up the best if it closes above 1650 or close to the best, I would say. Brendan? Uh, Facebook, guys, uh, there was a volume spike going back uh, a little while ago. It was about uh, half an hour ago or so. Uh, Facebook, though, uh, talking about the business insider, I apologize, talking about uh, the possibility of uh, Facebook's first ever smartwatch coming with reportedly two cameras on a watch next summer. Uh, so FB, a uh, little bit of volume came in on that note. Yeah, don't sleep on Google also, guys, because remember, Google bought Fitbit. So uh, they're going to hopefully come out with some sort of a product at some point uh, there and then get into the watch game as well. So, you know, now Facebook doing it. Obviously, you guys 
probably all have Apple Watches or whatever. I have a Samsung one, and uh, you know, so there you go. And I think there's there's obvious reasons why Google did go ahead there and made that purchase of Fitbit. So now you're seeing. Facebook getting involved there. I think that's a great move uh, for Facebook. But uh, we could see, I mean, just like Brendan said, not really doing too, too much there. Uh, but it's good news and just more revenue streams is kind of the way I'm looking at that. Uh, as an investor in Facebook, I like the move. The more that they can do, the better. So, I mean, Facebook's already off to the races, man. We love this stock. We are buying it uh, in the 270s. So, yeah, good move for Facebook. Let's just continue the momentum to the upside. Absolutely. And look, momentum is the thing you got to chase here. It's, it's 350. I said AEMD. We might have to tighten the stop up here. I was going to give it a little bit past 1050, like 1060 or so. I'm going to literally crank this order at like 1040. So it's basically break even. I don't want to turn any part of this trade into a losing trade. So as I said to you guys, my stop is right here. Uh, if it breaks 1050 and I get wicked out, who cares? I uh, got to keep it real. With only like nine minutes to go, got to start trimming these positions off. I did say I liked holding on to, uh, to ride almost at Virgin Galactic, which I haven't even looked at today. Uh, I said I would hold on to it. It's holding this 11.15 area, but it almost doesn't matter. Like 11 can hold, and this might be one where 11 even holds and you get a break that at least tests 12 in the aftermarket. That's not going to do any good for us here, uh, but I'm going to throw my order now in front of that 11.50. Uh, it just feels like it would be crazy not to take that winner if we can get it. I'm out of AEMD. It's literally a flat trade on the rest, so GE, GEO and AEMD, both winners, but GEO just a little bit better on the south side of the trade. It remains to be seen when we'll get this last out on ride uh, but since that news hit I'm telling you like that was uh, unbelievable I mean I was sitting there taking like 20 fills when I was holding a two-hour trade uh, in ride just sliding to the downside all day long and next thing you know you're just all over it in this two dollar move catching it both directions slow down at the end of the day but the consolidation probably good for the bulls can't say I'm one long term Okay, so we're going to try to go here uh, on AMC if it does make that move right now to the downside. Uh, we're watching $50 break. If it happens, we'll take it. If not, then we don't have to worry, obviously. So uh, we'll wait to see if it does come through. But right now, we're looking at that, and uh, we're thinking that's going to happen, obviously, only a dime away right now. And then let's just give this back to these areas right here, 5083, something like that. Right, basically, right where we got in, we like that 5080 level. So we'll give it back to 80 cents. I mean, an 80 cent hit here should be fine. We should be able to hold that. So let's just see where where AMC goes. There we go. So now we're short. We're short AMC. It got triggered in. We're going to give it back to this 50, 80 level. I hope that that's not the breaking spot. Maybe even 51, 15, something like that. But now we are short AMC into the close, guys. It's not, I know it's not a favored position by a lot of you, but there's the 50 break. Let's see. We went one long. Now let's see if we can win on the short. We may get crushed out of this, but let's see if we can retrace back down to 49 ish uh, and maybe take a dollar. We'll see if we can go swing a dollar both ways. Yeah, and uh, as AMC broke by a downside, GameStop could not hold that 305 level. So let's see what it does going into that close at 280. I'm, like, I'm unlikely to take anything else. I'm going to hang on to that ride position at Lordstown, of course. But I want to see what happens on GameStop in particular going into this close. It, it, that could be more to do with AMC breaking down than sort of GameStop uh, following suit. Because it's not really... Uh, too big. It's like $2 on, on, on GameStop, which is basically nothing here. You'd need to see this extend down to 295 290 to be concerned, guys. Uh, so some of that, like, Nick, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I did like Clove the other day, uh, but that was a different scenario to ride, right? Like, it, as much as it's, it, it's the same sort of idea where it's going to hold a, hold a, a sort of a support bid up here at like $11, uh, but on, on that trade in Clover, it was taking out the top. Like, it was resisting a top level, and then it was taking that out in the aftermarket, and there was nothing above that price except air on Clover. So it's different in ride. This has news. I think it might give you a little bit of something, but that whole breakout where you actually get a monster move right at 4 o'clock uh, with a monster gap up, I'm not sure that same thing is going to happen here in ride. Just a different set of circumstances, even though it might pop a little bit. Okay, so uh, we're, I mean, we've got to reward ourselves a little bit here. So there it is, man. I mean, sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, as AMC, nice little move to the downside. I mean, ca I can't paint a better picture uh, if you're a trader than this. There's the move upside, man. So we'll wait to see now where we go uh, with AMC. We just covered a little bit there. Um, you know, trying to get a little, not too greedy, but trying to get a little bit greedy uh, and see if we can't retest that 49 even level. So that's a spot that we like. We'll just see if we can get that in. I uh, don't know if it'll come through, but uh, that's a level that we're looking for at right now on AMC is that 49.50 or so level there but right now not trying to break it we'll hold it out that's why we take that 50 cent winner I'm also bidding in 
the uh, 30s as well uh, to see if that comes through. So we're going to bid down here in the 30s, but right now it looks like AMC trying to retrace itself back to the upside, guys. And like, I'm going to show you this AMD. This is why like, I keep making a moving target. At the end of the day, a moving target on that stop, you bring it down, you bring it down, just so you don't waste the trade. Did I already look that gift horse in the mouth like a chump and not take the dollar or 80 cents when it was there? Probably. And I saw that level. It was right there. I got a little bit greedy. But don't compound that mistake by holding through an obvious level and turning into a losing trade. Brendo with five minutes to go. All right. Uh, I think everyone's well aware of this already, but uh, let's make it official one more time. If you're looking for what's coming up uh, on the earnings front, guys, aftermarket tonight and before the open tomorrow. Yeah, what about GameStop Ooh. is up there? So uh, we'll look at GameStop oh, tomorrow. Um, and then we talked about Fuel Cell. You like that one too, Neil. So uh, those are going to be some big names. But right now, I'm just really concerned uh, with AMC with only five minutes to go. Can we retest, man? Can we retest 48.50? So I, that's, that's it. I'm going to put my orders there. We'll see if it comes to the downside. If it does, then uh, we will celebrate that with a backflip. Uh, but for right now, we're going to wait. So AMC coming to the downside right now, and we just covered it twice. So now we still have 60% out of 40% there. AMC, let's see where we go from here. But I like it. And uh, hey, if we break back up, it's worth the shot for me. AMC, let's see if we can continue this ride to the north or south side here on AMC, guys. I'm hoping that the answer is yes. As am I. And maybe the way that, I don't know, maybe where they can revive their business is if they allow some things inside of the theater, which will obviously never happen. I just, I like that music and I love it, Robbie. So I just keep hitting it when I have no reason reason to uh, fuel cell guys just part of a small part of these breakouts that's been happening sort of in the uh, in, in, in clean energy in, in EV names uh, that have been beaten down so there is should be some decent volatility here it's not a monster uh, short or overall short interest but it is 14 percent so on the off chance they actually get some solid numbers you know watch for this on the daily chart here watch for this like 1263 uh, for potential break you'd love to be able to come in and hit something like that with a double top when the rest of these names got punked and all came back in that have been making these breakouts that would be a heck of a break and yes you do have to care about short interest because it is a thing these days Okay, um, I'm trying to get out of this position right now because, uh, you know, if, if we can do this, then we'll be actually positive for the day. Like, this has just been a nuts, nuts day for me today. We took a huge monster hit in the open, and uh, now we're just trying to get out of this one if we can on AMC. Like, any of these levels uh, will turn us into the green. So um, if it does continue, well, we're already green, but if it does continue to the upside, then we'll wait on that. But for right now, I like what we're doing. There it is. There's the fill. So one more fill, guys. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Is this going to dri drip? I don't know if it's going to drip down or not but uh, we are waiting for this one amc and then we do have ride uh, also on board as well so we can wait for ride to see where that goes at this point but ride right now only 11 cents in the money we don't have that much time left guys so i'm just gonna get out of all of these positions and uh we'll just count our chickens and we are now positive today so yes Thank God we make the positive today. We did not have a good open, guys, but we battle back, man. We take these AMC trades, and now we positive with this 50-cent winner. Look at this. This is what got us there. Bang, get out, bang, go short. That's it. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Look, I... Got to get out of ride right here. It is what it is. There's only about two minutes left in the session. So uh, it's been a good one. This has easily been my best stock uh, today. It's probably not even close because the short was fantastic all morning long. Then you got this great reversal in the long and it managed to get, it's not the top wick, but I let it sell off first and then get into it, guys. And there was a decent long off the bottom. I got way too greedy not taking that dollar winner here, obviously, thinking it was going to continue. Might be a good one in tomorrow's action because of the news and because of the potential for a further squeeze. This thing was at 1540. Lordstown was at 1540 uh, when they dropped that news yesterday. So a uh, retracement there wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. Oh, man. Ooh. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if I've ever done that with, like, the last couple minutes to go uh, to get positive. There's something about it. You shouldn't do this as a trader, but, like, I'm trying to keep certain streaks alive. But I'm just trying to make money. So at the end of the day, that doesn't really matter. Um, we did want to hold AMC all the way to the bottom. And, you know, obviously it would have been more money in our pocket at that point. But part of it is also the fact that it's just not moving. So that's why we get to, get to dodge there. And now we'll wait to see what happens. Uh, right now, here's the imbalances. MPC Oxy. So we do have some gas uh, and oil plays on here jp morgan has a sell uh nothing else really let's see what that did to oxy sorry oxy's a bid my bad not to sell all themselves uh, except for oxy so ah bad chart uh so we'll wait to see what is that doing to a uh, jp morgan on the sell side here as well oh man look at all these wicks i can't unfortunately i can't show you any of these yeah Okay, forget it. Uh, we have Wick Central here, so I can't even show you any of these stocks. Uh, but we did get out of our ride. We had to get out of there early. This is another reason how we get positive right now with only a minute to go. Man, big day. Thank you for joining us. Wow. 
Uh, man, that, that was a big one. A almost over 300 fills today for me. That's a big one. You beat me by 50. Well, if, if you had 300 exactly, you would beat me by 58. The gift horse is for you, Monkey Nut. Not just to say your name there, but uh, your dog is a fan of the gift horse. We'll, keep, we'll give the gift horse there. And Mike Jack, how do we know the next wick isn't going to run uh, on ride? Look, I mean, if I had a crystal ball, um, then uh, I wouldn't necessarily have to be here. Uh, you could do a lot of things like win the lottery or whatnot. No, I don't actually know uh, whether that's going to happen. I just kind of make an educated guess based on the patterns that we're able to see here, guys. And we try to give you our thought process as well. Uh, but there's no crystal balls around here we had a magic eight ball I, one of those old ones that you shake around we, yeah, we yeah, got rid of it ones. we would never make trades based off of it. it was kind of fun to ask it market related questions miss b is on the bell giving the nice queen wave three two and one let's get it and the market is closed what a great day there let's go over to brendan and see how we wound up yeah it did uh, dip back into negative territory there right at the end of the day guys but let's uh, check out how things uh, look here 0.15 for the s p the dow bell 0.4 uh the nasdaq did hold on to positive territory but only just same story uh for the tsx 0.4 yeah, uh, crypto's uh, positive, as we said, but uh, starting to, uh, just as I'm watching, moving back to the upside, we were talking about uh, MSTR there, a uh, nice positive end to the day, but all about those individual names again today. Yeah, I mean, I see some comments there on, on, on the chat about the kind of day it was. Yeah, it wasn't a fantastic day to trade. I mean, that's why we're you know, really happy to finally get uh, into that positive area there. Let's see if AMC's doing anything. We'll wait. Oh, yeah, it ran down to 49. We'll see if GameStop's doing anything. Remember, join us, guys, right after this. Neil, I mean, this is a very, very popular segment. You guys will watch GameStop, but I don't know if it's tomorrow morning or if it's right now, uh, but we'll see if it, it makes any moves. We'll get that to you ASAP. But uh, join us in just a couple minutes. Well, right away, you'll be thrown over into Thanks, guys. Thanks, Daryl. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, uh, Chris, as well, for all your kind words there on the chat, man. Super, super happy uh, with that. So, anyways, we do have uh, Neil's GEO trade coming. So, I guess GEO, I don't even know, uh, you know, ab about that stock, but we looked at it. Let's MDRR. be honest. We didn't know too much about them until they came up today with that short interest. <laughs> but, uh, look, it's action, and we can trade it because we had a setup that we could trade it in. So make sure you stay tuned for that. They're all fantastic ones. Check them all out. But uh, this is the latest one. Uh, 425, guys, for GME. Welcome. Surprise, it's not 420. For all of us here, thank you so much, Maggie. Thank you so much, Lucas. Thank you so much, Valeria, uh, for coming through. Thank you to Brandon and Neil. I'm Sean. We're the Trader TV Live family. Stay tuned for our trade of the day. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye guys.